We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. Someone broke into Air Force One. How? How? Hey, security force, where we at, bro? What's up, man? Everything on the internet lasts forever, and boy, that sure is true. Because while I was researching and looking into the upcoming story that I'll be sharing with you, I stumbled upon, well, something that just tickled my fancy. That happened Fancies. a little while ago, but I had never seen before. And well, why wouldn't I share it with you? Right, it has right, to right. Do with people breaking onto military posts and the dumb things that they did, right. and that people missed. So why wouldn't I touch on it? Especially if it allows me to pick on the Air Force. Yes! And security that forces. Is. Especially. Security so forces. So join me today as okay. I talk to you about a guy that we'll call Jerry, who was able Jerry. to slip through security at Andrews Air Force Base, drive around for hours, walk onto the flight line, and board an aircraft until security forces got to him. And when asked why, why, why Jerry? Jerry, why would you do it? Why, Jerry? His why, response Jerry? is, well, I was just looking for a ride. To which my response would be, to where, Jerry? We're on Air Force One. Are you going to give the gift their the airplane to Russia? China? China? China. Syria? <laughs> Iraq? Who's breaking right. into a military post and then jumping on a jet from there to somewhere nice? Right. Well, it is an Air Force post, so... You got me there. What kind of free vacation, publisher's clearinghouse BS did he think he won? And I'll tell you, after a word from this video sponsor, the NFL season is get your money back to the video. Military documents stating the exact minutes that they knew what he was doing and in order chronologically. So if they know what, if they was tracking them from the beginning, how the hell did he get on Air Force One? You know what I'm saying? How? Explain to that, Greg. Oh, here. oh yeah, still got it. Still got it, bringing it around. Thank you. Well, zero seven sixteen in the morning at Andrews Air Force Base on a chilly February morning, I might add. A young security forces person was manning the gate. You know, right. I hear Air Force security forces are the real SF. Allowing the daily commuters on and off post military personnel, government contractors, right. government contractors, officials, et cetera. And it's right. here where this entire story begins. And remember, we're going to call this handsome stranger Jerry. Well, Jerry pulls up to the gate in his vehicle, winking at the young airman, and the young airman waves him on post without checking his ID. What? But what the? So, so in 2024, we just let anybody on the Air Force Base, especially if they probably know Air Force One is on on the post. You know, we just wave people in now, right? We don't even check IDs, Air Force. What are we doing? Or credentials. And let me say, you have one, one job. job. Security forces. One. one job. Secure the forces. How are you gonna do it if you don't even scan his flipping ID? Just to, yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm with Army. I'm with the military. Yeah. That checks right out, in. sir. Absolutely. Go Where's right in, sir. Where's my private potato gear? Because that's the only <laughs> person that would let Facts. this idiot through without checking his ID. Even potato would check an ID. Jerry's Facts. got no creds, man. Why didn't you check his creds? <laughs> well, at 8.15, that one hour later, he's seen driving on up and parking at the post exchange. And Getting out and walking through the exchange, hanging out in the food court, which I find just creepy. He doesn't that buy anything. Creepy. Okay, he's just walking around, staring at people eating the food court, breathing. And no one did call this in. Sort of weird '90s. Hey, Lost Prevention. I used to do Lost Prevention for the Navy Exchange. We, we're not watching that. We're not. I know there's cameras in the food court. I had the cameras at the subway there. We're not watching that. Duction movie. Huh? Where the killer. Targets and stalks his prey and victims. Come on, bro. Airful. The chair Breathing heavily behind bro. bushes, staring at children as they consume what? their Panda Express. What? Doesn't buy anything, just stares and leaves after an hour. And then, after that, of course, nobody knows where he goes for two hours. Boop! Disappeared. 
driving all over posts, but no video camera can pick him up. He's like the Invisible Man, and I don't know what kind of car he's in, but it seems like he stole Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Not one yep, yep. camera got this. Who is the same guy working the security there on post? Is the same guy that was watching Jeffrey Epstein sell? Damn, so yo. Our timeline is currently this: seven sixteen, gate fail by right. the security forces. Jerry gets in. Right. Seven sixteen to eight ten. We don't know. I don't know. We just Where the fuck he at? I don't know. <laughs> eight ten to nine thirty. <laughs> In the post exchange, heavy breathing, staring at people as they eat in the food court. And then 9.30 to 11.45. None. Ah, again, just, eh. We don't know. This is Andrew's Air Force Base. And for three hours out of this time period, yep. this guy's just, eh. Chilling. Ah, don't know where this guy is for three hours, but he's... He, just around, around, just looking around the boat. How does a guy who stands there, heavy breathing, stalking folks at the food court, not stand out for an entire three hours during this time period? Exactly. So now it's 11:45, and Jerry wants to be seen again. At the and flight so with line. my magic, Jerry and his car teleport to the 89th Air Wing passenger terminal, and Jerry, being Jerry, just stands there, looking out windows, remaining motionless. Staring. So no one didn't spot this guy looking into windows at the flight line. Now, I was on Fort Liberty slash Fort Bragg, Pope Airfield. When you go to that part of the airfield, there's somebody there. Chair Force. Bring it the planes on the tarmac and the flight line with soulless dead eyes. Right. Like a doll's eye. Like Jason Voorhees just slowly walking to where he <laughs> wants to go and standing there. And nobody notices him until he tries to go into a VIP lounge at this 89th Air Wing passenger terminal. Damn. The we call this foreshadowing. Where someone finally decides to confront Jerry and just ask him, hey man, what are you doing? All right. And Jerry's response is, I'm just looking for a ride. <laughs> this is how you make shit clip it all. Clip. This is how you make a meme out of yourself, AC. This shit right here. There that is. is some serial killer hitchhiker shit right there. Look Looking for around. a ride? Where we going, Jerry? Candy Mountain? It'll be an adventure. But anywho, the guy <laughs> who drove there needs a ride. Okay. Listen up, Airman. If someone is walking around your terminal right. looking for a ride, a red flag should probably pop up. Because that most likely means a number of things. Like, one, he doesn't have a ticket to go anywhere. He's right. just looking for a ride. That means he doesn't have a ride. What's right. he doing in your terminal? Not in uniform, just the civvies. Right. Like, number two, how then did he get there on a military post without a ride? How did he get to the place where he is? But he entered the base. Okay, so, like, remember the details. He did enter the base. By some form of transportation, but then he said he doesn't have a ride, but he was gone for on post for hours. So, come on, Airman. If he didn't, this is why drive, we do the security training. Oh my god. Post. Anyway, important note, whatever. Uh, Here's the the cyber line, right? security <laughs> thing, but that, back, that's what I meant. This is why we have this training. Moment where oh he's god. at the terminal and somebody goes, "What are you doing here, guy?" This is the only time somebody talks to the Jason Voorhees. Food court staring. Right. I need a ride, even though I got here some magical way. Guy named Jerry. No one talks to him until he's arrested. And we have a lot more to go. Timeline update 1208. Okay. Jerry decides to walk up to an entry control point to the flight line. That's the tarmac, you know, yep. where yep. The planes go. Some people might say, a little bit of a security issue, especially yep. since we've already got the moon-faced kid driving through the gate, disappearing all over the place already. But hey, this is Andrew's Air Force Base, so obviously that gate is secure to the entry control point, right? Right. No, no, it's been malfunctioning. And for five or six times, if I'm not mistaken, security forces have said, hey, here's a complaint, we need to get this thing fixed. Oh, my work, my wife worked for DPW on Fort Bragg. 
when you put in some in a ticket, they do take around a long time to get the shit fixed. Yeah, yeah, just like that's all I got. That's all I'm gonna say. Babe, I love you. I know you watch this video. Well, guess what? Government work, huh? Ain't yep. fixed. It's about a foot and a half open, and Jerry just goes. Slide in there. And he's in. Not a lot of control in the entry control point. Now it's right, just right. an entry point. Just enter. Jerry's here. Everybody come on to the tarmac, to the flight line. Go right. touch a plane. Suck on some gas fumes. Hey, yo, what? It's Andrew's Air hey, yo, what? Space after all. It's a free hey, yo. So Jerry's now just to walking on active airways, looking around at all the planes, when all of a sudden, an Air Force C-40 catches his eye. Ooh. And don't you know, it's got its main door open. Oh, and a no. Leading right oh, up to it, no. Just calling his name. Come on board, Jerry. All the doors are open for you here, bud. Yep. We're going on an adventure. So Jerry has already gone on post. Right. Disappeared. Stared at people eating for an hour in. Wait a minute. What Air Force base is this? He said Edward Edwards Air Force Base. Hold on. Ed Wurz Air Base. I bet it's, if he's not a Florida man, only Florida man could could to could provide. Edward Base. This is uh wait, oops, sorry, not the museum. Edward Air Force Base. So he got on in California? I thought it was an Edward Base in Florida. Huh. Interesting. Let's continue. Sorry, the I didn't look that food up. Court disappears again. Goes to a terminal. Says, I need to find a ride. Not a red flag at all. Yep. Leaves and then just starts walking on the tarmac, touching planes and going in one. Oh, my. Oh, God. yeah. My word, security forces. I can just. Bro, I can't imagine what comes up down after I can hear the colonel. Someone did what? And it just rolled downhill to that one airman at the gate. R.I.P. his career. Imagine this guy walking up the stairs to the plane and just going, you know, giving the presidential wave, saluting yep, people yep, yep, that aren't yep. even there. Kind of like a Kamala Harris campaign stop. Oh, low blow. Oh, know, AI, shots fired. No, it's just shots it. fired. You can see a reflection. But what <laughs> is a C-40 aircraft in the Air Force? Well, why don't I just read it off of the Air Force's official website? Okay. The C-40 provides safe, comfortable, and reliable transportation for U.S. leaders to locations oh. around the world. The C-40 Bravo's primary customers are the combatant commanders, and the C-40 Charlie customers include members of the Cabinet and Congress. The aircraft also performs other operational support missions. The C-40 Bravo is designed to be an office in the sky for senior military and government leaders. Communications are paramount aboard the C-40 Bravo, which provides broadband data and video transmit and receive capability as well as clear... Sorry, had a phone call, I'm recording. I love my wife, so communication. I'm the phone it gives combatant commanders the ability to conduct business anywhere around the world using onboard internet and local area network connections, improved telephones, satellites, television monitors, and facsimile and copy machines. Nice. Who says Who's facsimile so use anymore? Who's Who's fax. Fax machines. Weird. Hmm. Seems right. important. Oh, you know what else seems important? The VIP lounge that Jerry was trying to get into. On right. the Air Force Base in the Air Force Terminal. VIP Lounge? Why would there be a VIP Lounge there? Well, that Vice might President? be because Andrews Air Force Base is located in Washington, D.C. And it's used to transport or bring in foreign dignitaries like presidents, kings. So you're telling me this guy walking on... Air base on DC, which is Edward Air Force Base, because there's another Edwards in California. Anyway, it's not the point. In Washington, DC, where most likely Air Force One's in Air Force One is at. Somebody in, in trouble. Prime Ministers, high-ranking military officers that lead commands, including yep. our own Department of State officials. Oh, <laughs> and I almost forgot. It's also the home of Air Force One. One. Air yep. Force One. Air Force One. So hey, the boy, post stop that houses the Air presidential Force. pip my ride of aircraft has right. allowed some dude who doesn't even have an ID 
to get or, on. Yep. I wish to just start walk around the flight line and get into one of these planes. Inside oh, the plane. Oh, what did he do when oh, he was no. in there? How do I know what he did when he was in there? How you know? Because people were in there watching him. Oh. Let's read on. You see, when Jerry got on the aircraft, there was not one but two airmen on there testing right. the communication system operations, which seems like a big deal. And while yeah, they're yeah, doing yeah, that, yeah. Jerry just walks on. They look at each other. Jerry walks to the back of the plane. Like, who the is this guy? Each other. Jerry fiddles around back there for a couple minutes. The airmen are like, who is that guy? I don't know. And then Jerry walks back up to the front of the plane, looks at the airmen. They look at him, and Jerry just walks off the plane. And these fucking airmen did nothing. Hey, who the fuck are you, guy? You know what I'm are saying? Are kidding me? Are you getting goosebumps? I know I did. Yeah. I've seen way too many action movies to know what a strange dude's doing on the back of a government plane where facts, nobody can facts. see him, and he's not supposed to be on there, and he sneaks on post. It starts with a B and ends with um. Oh. And even if it's not one of those, any sort of weird data, virus, or listening yep. system yep. could have been downloaded mm -hmm. on anything. And who's to know? How do we know? We don't know. Why? Because nobody, nobody knows. Him. How is there not one person in the Air Force, especially the two on the freaking plane, to look at that guy and say, and here I belong here. My plane. Oh, damn. Now. Common okay. sense eventually struck the smartest branch in the United States military. <laughs> now can be safely handed over to the Space Force. And right. after Jerry got off the plane and started walking around the freaking flight deck and taking photos of the planes, a couple people decided to call security forces and say, hey, there's a guy that I can only describe as a... F Florida man. He got me from Florida. That's the only way he got a post. Florida man. Trust. Future serial killer walking around the flight line just doing whatever he wants, somebody might want to look at that. And within only a couple minutes, now they're working fast. Right. Security forces was on Jerry, brought him into their car, said, holy <laughs> this is a big deal. I'm right. fired, aren't I? Oh, yes. And then the <laughs> investigation started. Oh, yeah, you bet your ass it started all over Andrews Air Force Base, unaccounted that for, cook. for large cook. chunks of time. What is this, a Kennedy experiment? Who was on post that day? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Just Damn. looking to get another one of those Kennedys out of here. This has CIA written all over it. But after a long search and multiple dogs going through the planes and checking where he went, they didn't smell nothing. Everything was okay. I hope that there wasn't any sort of malware dumped on the plane that would right. cause it to crash. But it was a while ago, so hopefully we're okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Except for that airman at the front gate who really messed up. Yeah, that dude is fucked. That dude before is Before I get fucked. into that airman, I will say it is a little bit of a red flag that when they got Jerry, originally, when they put him into custody and said, what are you doing here? He was like, listen, I'm not under the influence of any drugs. I just came on post. I'm not going to tell you how. By the way, I'm not going to say anything anymore. Because you need a lawyer. Get out of here. I'm not telling you nothing. Whoa. Oh, oh. oh, that took a turn. Oh, that took a turn. And then multiple days later, Jerry is like, no, I was high as a kite. I was under all the influences of all the things. Right, and right. I'm still not going to tell you nothing of why I was there and how I got on and what the interaction was between me and that airman at the front gate. Oh, 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 oh. that's not good. None of this no, is no good. flag. This is a red flag important. Right. All this place sells is red flags. Now, during the course of the post-investigation of this entire shenanigan, well, of course, there's video at the front gate. And what did the airman do? Well, he didn't even scan the dude's ID. And I don't even think he looked at the guy's ID because all of the IDs that this dude had, Jerry, none of them were a military ID or any other valid credential to get him on any military post. Oh, that airman is gone. His career is gone. Honorary discharge. He's going in to the studio. I'm just what kidding. That's right. Hold up a blockbuster card and just go. This is how old I am. I've been in for a while, son. And he goes, Oh, Roger, that. You must be a general. Carry on, special Carry the fuck on. We're not even scanning IDs anymore. That's right. crazy. Listen, we all make mistakes. 
That's going to cost you some rank. All right. It's going to cost yep. you a little bit of rank. Well, that's all I've and got. And pay for as well. Best way to support <laughs> the channel. <laughs> and make me so free to. E4 Mafia. It's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. E4 Mafia. Get it on a mug. Get it in a sticker. Whatever you like. We've got Whoopi hoodies coming soon. They're not here yet. All right. But maybe by mid to late September, they'll be available. They sell out fast, so just keep an eye out for them. Cheapest way we'll do. to support the channel is leave a comment. And subscribe and liking the video. About it. Tell me about all the weird things that you saw on your post that happened when the gate guards or security forces or the MPs didn't do their job. I would love to read some of your stories. Oh, okay. I mean, that kind of secure on for a brag, Loki. See you next time, weirdos. See ya. Air Force, I thought we was the spawnest branch. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys next time.